Hey, it's all here. If you're a builder, you need to listen to this because things are changing. Uh, there's been a huge amount of demand for homes, huge amount of demand for rentals. The builders have pretty much had their pick on selling homes to SFR investors. But I'm telling you, every day we're talking to more and more multifamily funds and investment groups that are coming in and they're partnering with maybe a smaller builder. Maybe they're building on their own. Uh, maybe they're going out there and finding the uh, the actual builders and developing land. And they're going to be competing with not only SFR funds, but they're also going to be competing with builders because they do something different. They stabilize the homes before they sell them the funds. Right now, funds have been, a, been having to absorb these homes, buy the homes, get them rented before they're performing. Now, we're working with a couple of builders who are ahead of the curve here. And what they're doing is they are stabilizing the assets before they sell them to the funds. And this does a lot of really good things for the funds. They can pay more. They're more aggressive. They can buy at a higher velocity and they're building it into the model. So the old way of the builder saying, hey, this is our inventory. If you want to buy a home, buy it. If you don't, we'll sell it to a homeowner. Well, they're starting to get more competition and we're going to see that in the coming years because just today I've had two, uh, a talk with two different multifamily funds who are going to start building not only scattered site, but whole communities and build them to sell actually on some of them. And they're going to get the home stabilized before they sell them. Just something I wanted to throw out there that I'm seeing, and I think it's going to uh, change things. And the same thing goes for property management, for SFR funds. You get these multifamily funds who know how to operate efficiently and know how to uh, analyze a market and be aggressive in a market. Imagine if you're a multifamily fund and you are you own high density housing, you own low density housing all in a market. And I think these are the areas as people are moving to the suburbs that are going to be more successful. The ones that embrace true city planning and create a diverse housing options to keep themselves affordable. I've talked about this a lot in the past. It's something that I uh, very much believe in because as people are moving to these suburbs, ideally it'd be great if the people who work in these areas, who work in the retail, who work to support the people living there also live in the same areas and not have to commute in. That's what's going to keep them more affordable. Uh, some other things we're seeing is just uh, still a lot of aggressiveness with funds that want to buy, build to rent and portfolios. That's not changing. I think it's getting more aggressive. Been some questions. Robert Schiller came out with an article today talking about how he believes some of these urban areas are going to surf, suffer in price declines because people are moving out of the areas. And I think there's something to that. I mean, who, who really knows what's going to happen long term? I think short term, it will affect these areas. Again, more people want to move to the suburbs. There's more demand for housing. Uh, in order to keep that housing affordable, you need to have that diverse product. Watch out builders because I really see these multi multifamily funds stepping into this. We're working with a lot of them, a lot of them on the management side who have some pretty aggressive plans to scale very quickly. They've done it before in multifamily. I think they can do it again. And uh, it's an interesting dynamic. So watch out for that. Appreciate you watching. Comment, like, share, or don't comment, like, and share if you don't like what, what you're seeing. Look forward to more videos from me in the future. Thanks a lot.